What we know that is factual is that sometime after the liberation of African slaves, they began celebrating a pre lenten festival called the Carnival. The French settlers in St. Vincent had brought the pre lenten Carnival festival when they settled here in St. Vincent. So naturally, the former slaves would have seen the celebrations. They, of course, would have been acquainted with festivals in West Africa. Boom blast! Boom blast. We come into mash up every day. It, it was very passionate to me because as a youth living in the ghetto, you come at the side road right where Randy was living, have his business there. And um, so we see all the bands them coming to park. In those days, bands in the 60s when I started to look at mass, bands used to come, come down the road like all oh, 7 o'clock. Now bands come in the road after lunch to 3 o'clock. But those days, the bands used to come to park very early, 7, 7 after. So when you get about 12 o'clock and you pass wrong park, you will never believe that they had a parade wrong park because everything is on the streets now. Park is empty by 12. Now you have park going all 6 after 5. <laughs> so, yeah. Back then, park had the wall around it, or it was open? No. When I remember it, they had shingle. It was shingle for us as a youth and living next to bottom, living in bottom town. Used to go back and play a little football and so forth. So, a shingle. Then after shingle, they put galvanize. Because the shingle started to break out here, break out there. And some people was doing that, especially when football is playing. Because those days, football was like... What I'm seeing in the World Cup now compared to what I'm seeing Vinci play now. But, so people were passionate about sports and culture back in the day. You know, so I always was loved it, loved it and wanted to play until that day when we moved from Bottom Town and come up here. And my sister got involved in 1967. I get involved in 1968 and stay in it from, the, from now on, from till now. We know that by 1872, the colonial authorities had become somewhat wary of the celebrations. And that year, 1872, they put a stop to the celebration of Carnival. However, in 1879, the people decided that ban or no ban, they would celebrate carnival. 
and even before the actual Monday and Tuesday of the pre-Lenten festival that year, you know, the, two, the Monday and Tuesday before Ash Wednesday, they came out on the streets at the weekend, the Friday, the Saturday, and of course this led to clashes with the colonial authorities who sent the police to put a stop to the celebrations. Thus, we had the famous Carnival Rebellion. Next section, this is a tribute to our national hero, Joseph Chateauier. And if you know your history well, Joseph Chateauier protected St. Vincent the Grenadines against all the intruders. Uh, I'm wrong too. Carnival was around in town, and my parents used to get involved in things. My father used to play, so you had to play and the family in the house. That house used to be a long time you were born in the town, and most everybody in town playing mass. Right? People who had a favorite band, them long time band. Right? In my time, they, I was a fuzzy night, right? because my old man used to play with fuzzy nights. Dad. He passed on a couple months ago. He used to live in the States, he passed on a couple ago. He was one of the old time band leader from Paul's lot. Right? I start off playing mass with him. I play. When I get come big, I could choose what I want. I play with Stella James. A woman used to bring Indian mass and them kind of thing. I've been like call them CD. Well, so, that's a long time till I get myself in my own thing now. now. When I was like let's say under 10 um, my sister and I would play kiddies carnival on Saturday and then we would call my uncle on carnival Tuesday to ask if he was playing because that was the only way we could have played on carnival Tuesday. So every carnival Tuesday we would buy the phone with the costumes in hand just waiting for him to say yes he's playing last so we could get on the road with him. Um, and then from there my love for carnival just grew. I also um, was very big in pageantry and uh, um, my mom and I used to go to Miss SPG and Miss Caraval every single year. Now my favorite aspect is mass. Well, hands down, I think Carnival Tuesday is really like the mecca of the season and I think that um, it is so festive that it makes the season what it is. It's the climax of the season and without it, Carnival is basically nothing. We have always, since 20, since the, the 80, 1879, we've continuously had the carnival celebration. And uh, it has gone through several changes, several evolutions, until we arrive at the new brand, the Vinci Mass. It's not now the high Caribbean show and thing, you know. We are Caribbean and go all in Antigua and thing and mash them up. But now, if you check it, nobody's studying the art form now. Nobody's checking for the culture man, the man who making masks. Them ain't really why we in park and them. We just did it. They were just a no thing because if you check it, we just prepare the most you know. They do what we buy in those if the mask man don't go and park the most, the mask man just get the mask man just get them kiddies carnival. The mask man just have to do things for the queen and them who play in. So I'm saying I cast him the mask man, they have to go to. The mask man has come and get them section of the year. You did? The mask man has come this Sunday night and get them king and queen. And they have to prepare the mask man they choose the Tuesday. Right? But nobody studying the mask man. Right? They're only studying so come on. Right? They never put no emphasis on mask man. That's the mask when they don't reach in school. I tell you already, they send for we already, you know. We used to send we we to teach mass and sing kids, you know. How come I can't teach it home my farm? Then we had to put more money in we had farm, if we wanted. Because you always say, we had to spend money to make money. And one of the things I see, which we all had, we, I remember we ban as if we'd been in dragons. We used to go to the schools and try to teach them something. How to bend wire, how to mold, how to color scheme. Pilling was part of that too, because me and Pilling came up, Pilling actually Pilling meet me in Dragons. Pilling came in the band in 1974 and started design. 
for the band. We had a designer the name Buck. Um, but Pilling used to think he used to work out in Melbourne and he and Jaggy get to know friends and so Jaggy asked him to draw the 1974 until on until back and Pilling was the, the main artist in terms of production. Now, when we look at this now in terms of Pilling, we lose him, we had Scully, he gone, he was a designer. We had Shaggy John, he gone, he was a designer. Roy Ross was a master builder. But we aim trying to bring up the young people to take that, that mantle. So it kind of, and I just say, the, 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 and we had the love and the passion for it. I remember when I went King of the Bands in 1974, I get $1,200 with no trophy. Now, you're getting $12,000 now with a trophy. But we had passion for it. And so, what, no, I, so I, that's the whole thing I'm saying that are kind of scary because I see we're preparing nothing to take it to that other level. Vince Mas has evolved and is evolving. And I'm very excited to see where it gets um, in the coming years. I feel like we have a very unique indigenous product in St. Vincent that we are not um, cognizant of. And I feel like once we realize that this product is so amazing and so different that we will be able to take over Carnival in the Caribbean. But we have to believe in our product first. Our route is, I think, one of the best routes in the Caribbean. And we have a block around Kingston, a continuous block. So you, it is easy for you to find somebody on the road on Carnival Tuesday. That's one. Two, um, our music makes our road different and our people. Um, we don't have the same behavior, you know, they say Vincey people crazy. We don't behave the same as those other islands as too. My band, Oxygen Mass, we do um, mass that is similar to that of Trinidad and Barbados, right? However, the traditional bands in St. Vincent is really what makes the chooses so unique. These artisans are able to produce costumes that are exact replicas of what they are depicting. And that is what makes it so amazing to look at on Carnival Tuesday. When a masked man says the name of the costume is Botanical Gardens, and then that costume comes on stage and you could actually see a part of Botanical Gardens as a part of the costume. I think that's what makes it so unique. I've been doing events in St. Vincent for 11 years. Right? Um, I feel like I know what party people like and I know their dislikes. So I think I was able to take that and propel it into the mass band side of it. I also feel like the onus is on my generation to now take the festival and push it a little further along. Um, we have a lot of the people in my generation would have done schools um, in the Caribbean because I went to the University of the West Indies as well as those abroad. And so with social media, our Mark, we're, we're able to spread our wings so far um, across the different markets, meaning that we, we're connected to people in the world now in a much easier way. So whereas those before us would have had to depend on word of mouth or depend on you know, marketing in newspapers or billboards, we have social media and we are already connected to those people outside of St. Vincent. So once we market to them, they would want to come into the festival. So that's what I think my role is, to get new people to come into the festival. And I think that, you know, so far we've been doing a pretty decent job. It's like you're opening a new door. I, I def, yeah, I definitely think so. And I think that is what is going to propel the festival into its next um, move. Tell me, tell me a little bit of the um, vision you have, you know, the next phase of this. Man, I, I really wish that we already have booked flights and, you know, people coming in for the festival, but I feel like a lot of the people who are coming to St. Vincent for Carnival are of Vincentian descent and are Vincentian. I would love to see more foreigners coming in and in to enjoy our festival because in the other islands right in in Barbados and Trinidad you have a lot of the same fets so these promoters would move from island to island and have the same fets so the festival isn't really as unique as ours we have wet fets we have black wave you know what I mean we have color fets we have fets that 
are only found in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And I think that is what I am hoping would draw people in here and let them go out and tell 10 of their friends and then they come back. So over the years, we would have a much bigger festival. I ain't sticking, cause we're going right into, ladies and gentlemen, Winston, so so, the Rolls Royce of Calypso! Are you ready? Woo! We gonna party. Oh, St. Winston Soso was a boss from ever since. I, well, while I grew up here, I used to go over at Bishop College. Football, used to play over there, and cricket. We used to play hardball on the piece of concrete by Bishop College. We used to play flannel ball all the way to build up the school and the, and the football ground and the gym or whatever they have over there, a lot to know. But all those big piece of field, so we used to play. So I remember a day, I didn't even know so, so I know Soso going in the slum going over there. But I didn't know he was a locker too. So a day we pick a flannel ball side saying, so, you know, yeah, put down your name or position you're going to bat. He said, why is your name Oxy Locker? So I, I remember Soso say, wait, you a locker? I named Winston Lockhart. I said, I, I never know that. So we kind of and then I came home and asked my mom and said, yeah, 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 all his cousins and so so forth. But Sos was one of the best goalkeeper. St. Vince never produced. And a lot of people think Soso started Calypso. Soso was a soul singer, like an R&B soul singer kind of man, unique voice. I remember that time we have a lot of talent shows in Lake. And Soso and them mashed down the place when you hear this man come on. That is why after a while they really had to call him on the road voice. This voice is... So he was heavily involved in the on the music scene in St. Vincent and the Grenadines in the early 1970s with shows, he appeared on shows like Fire Stick organized by the late Tommy King his big his, his, his day in the big times begun in 1977, with the advent of July Mass, and uh, he he was a frontline singer with Crimax, Vincey Style in July. Climax, and uh, it was in 1978 that he made his first appearance on the Victoria Park stage in the National Calypso Monarch Finals. He ended up placing second to the manage. And uh, he continued his stint with Climax and the, 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 the rest you could say is history because we all know that Winston went on to become very well known. So, Winston Soso is my mother's all-time favorite artist of all times. And she loves music, but she absolutely loves Winston Soso. So when she was turning 50, I think it was, I think, she was having a party. I think it was, it was, she was turning 50. I actually called him and asked him if he was able to perform for her, because she's also born in July. Winston, I think Winston's dress code is, is really what had put him over the edge over everybody else, you know? This man used to dress to the nine when he was performing, and that's what I think performers need to do. When you get on stage, you should be in an outfit that nobody could go in a store and pick up. You're supposed to be in performance gear. He left us great music. Um, he is now in the 
When you think of great music, you, you think Bob Marley, you know, you think of that timeless music that continues to go on two generations. And I think that's what Winston did. I think he gave us music that our children's children would, would appreciate as Vincentian music. When you tell me that now, I go laugh because Winston Sus was my goalkeeper. It's pause that I spent all my life, you know. Winston Sus was my national goalkeeper. And I was lucky, I was one man who lucky when he turned back in the in St. Lucia and threw the ball in the river in the pavilion break down. I lucky I been there. <laughs> I see that save when nobody else never see. Plenty we only hear about that. I see that save in St. Lucia in the 70, 72, 73. I see that goalkeeper. Right? Winston so so, man, plenty of people. You have a song. When people feel the game in park, I don't know why people don't go that. Why do people do? All you Vincent Shans, get up, shake each other's hand, give your country a round of applause, and say congratulations. I want how come the radio station, them guy by the radio station so young. You know they know the tune. Them ain't gonna know. Them think for the plane. Diane and all them things say so so bad tune, you know. There are plenty of people you know so so used to sing in competition, you know. Them don't you know, them young and them ain't gonna come to talk to a man. Remember them ain't gonna ask a fellow, no, no, no. Because them run things. Them in power, them run things. Them in, so they say, why we call to get stuff down? Nobody. You ever go in Trinidad, if you hate Marshall, who is a bad, bad man. If you hate interviewing Marshall in Trinidad, hey Marshall go tell you, boys, Parham Kitchen and them boys start the thing, boy. You ever hear any one of them guys, our star? Oh, our no, star. You ever hear they say, boys, so so and Beckett and Scorcher, boy? You ever hear they say so? <laughs> that boy's them starting. <laughs> that time everything starts with them. So all that is a kill we. Nobody for teach now. Watch now. I remember, I was so lucky. Professor was living upstairs. The parrot we used to call down there. I am a tailor shop downstairs in front of Bishop College right there, so. Right? People coming down, nobody never used to study. And everybody competing in different tent. Suli, Lexi, everybody coming down to go upstairs by Professor now. Playing guitar and thing, long and how for thing kick calypso, long how for farm, you know. They think man studying competition and thing. Man, why are they good? Now you could tell a youth man, but again, go. A youth man. Probably tell a youth man come out the bad. But so, so, the bad is one of the, our top artists. Well, remember, he was so lucky that he come out of soul. Remember, soul he come from, you know, he and Patches. Them used to sing in soul that time. We don't have them thing again, so them young boys, you know. We used to have competition in the cinema, you know. Soul competition every year, you know. We used to have a reggae festival, you know. You see how far we gone back? We used to have a reggae festival every year, you know. We used to have Miss Youth, you know. The sweetest girl in town, the queen, show, you know. You have to come out like Af in African style and thing, you know. People in them, you know. Them young generation, you know, all them kind of talent we had, you know. You see? I will tell you, so when I hear so so them come out now and start to sing Calypso now, they man it bad, you don't see patches now. Why you think patches will all time beat you with voice and all kind of thing? Because you're a soul artist. Soul, he sing, he play, he and so so singing all kind of band. You dig? So so one, he tap man. Well, don't talk about the football. We, me captain boy. Remember, me captain St. Vincent for years, you know. Till he go well. That how do you come in, you know. It's so so fast. You dig? So so bad, bad captain. Bad, bad, bad captain, man, don't talk about the singing, boy. You write some bad tune, boy. But people, the tune I like, like the most. Congratulations. And the other one was Vince Spree. Never did 
Anything we need, see me how I'm walking up the way. 